Where is the fire? A prayer of St. G. The red and sinking moon smelled of danger. The conflagration in a place afar yet sent its sulfurous fumes to warn. The time shall be when it will be upon us. These a nuisance, these annoyance. But did we expect you would be quiet against the peril of your people? Saved from wrath by him whose blood is redder than the moon and who from days of paradise described our jeopardy. And always in your mind was this, to shed this blood for the ungodly, whom we thought were others, but is us. For the high warnings of the sky are a pittance of the danger inherent in your holiness, in your person. For I, even I, do kill and do make alive, kill what the law and the spirit does make alive, whom all who have erred, there is none righteous, none declaring, none hearing. If the smoke-filled skies shriek danger, what of millennia of patience? How patient, not to eternity. When all which are to come in do come in, a basket of summer fruit we have had, but then the end will come. Calamity and rumor, the knowledge of the law come to an end and scoffers to say what he will do. What will he do? What can he do? Who is he anyway? And all the thousands of years from the garden are forgotten as to their promises, as to their covenants and fulfillments, as to the person who will bring all things to a close. For it has not been two thousand years, has it not? Two thousands of an increase of our knowledge so that it is we who rule the chambers of our cultures and seemingly over the dominions of evil, not knowing their power and the error of our own conscience. We are left this day as a remnant, escaped as it is this day. None can stand before you in our day. Didn't we see the red sky? Didn't we see the sinking? None can stand in your presence. Who were the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Pharisees? the Ammonites, the Moabites, and Egyptians, all against us and have fallen. Rome, its legions, its churches, and all the Darwinian flowers before us begging for answers. Yet the answers have always been before us. We say it is love, not love. Do not rejoice us. Do not be driven by other nations. For we have been unfaithful to our God, that his love rests and fails. Red moon, red moon, tell us true. What do you see of your own? What do you see? What have you heard? Why the smoke? Where is the fire? Why do you pray from far over the edge of the perilous world? To hide, no doubt, your eyes from what is obvious. The Lord will do all what you have said to do. All is accomplished. We are in the lull which pacifies and makes unaware. We who have been to the moon found nothing there, returned with nothing, journeyed the fraction of infinity to announce, I saw nothing else but what we know. And did we think the language would be so simple as to alert us, and that the events which are past are what will also come to us? There is more, much more. In a language beyond the mind and heart and soul of a man, you have sanctified your people, refined and purified them, though they seem as others. The heavenly world is not pictured by the earthly. It is above and beyond all things. You will come near to us in judgment. You are the Lord, you change not. Therefore, we are not consumed. In this knowledge, let us speak of these things, signs in the heavens and the Son of God which came to us. How shall we have known you in our limitations? We shall not. But we have before us the promise that all things will be well. Oh, praise the Lord God of heaven and earth.